well how's everybody doing it's a nice day here in tennessee and as you can see we're in the shop now we've talked about this little 48 here that i've had put up for a while um we wanted to just do a little makeover on it i'm sure probably everybody's seen the short where we got it running kind of drove it out through the field this car is incredibly solid for what it is pulled it out of the junkyard a year ago and we said it would be fun just to see how cool we could make this car on about a three to five hundred dollar budget so that's what we're doing now i did have to buy a few things for it over the last couple of weeks car needed a master cylinder goes up under the car i bought that at 130 dollars so i got that haven't bought anything else for it yet so <clears throat> i already had glass for it prior so that's that don't have to worry about that and i went ahead and put that master cylinder on it's up under the car sits on top of the frame right up under the driver's floor pan and you can see right there is the master cylinder pain in the butt to put in and as you can see i've still got some floor pan work there to do but that's not what we're going to do today today we're working on the doors so this door right here you can see the latch it's, yeah so i needed pieces for this a beauty ring and um some screws to make it work i didn't have those I'm not going to track them down i got a better idea this is a four-door car which is what i like but we're trying to make this car cool on a budget so i'm going to take the pieces i need out of the back door to make the driver's door work then you say well what are you going to do about the back door simple i'm going to shave the door handles so i weld in a piece of metal right here we'll fill these four little holes we'll bondo right before we paint it it'll give the car maybe a two-door look when it's going down the road i don't know but either way i need those parts and this is a good way to do it without spending any money and i guess it does add a little bit more of a cool factor and then you say well how are you going to get the door to open well on amazon you can buy door popper kits really cheap so i can buy you know an actuator kit and put the button up under it and i can get that for like i think like 30 40 dollars so we'll go that route the only thing that i have bought so far is the master cylinder and i bought the paint and the paint i'm going to use a tractor paint from roll king got the hardener and reducer that cost me like i think it was 70 dollars. i'll pull the receipts at the end of this project and we'll see where we're at with it but let's jump into these doors here i'll show you how to take that handle off the other side because it it gave me trouble figuring it out so and i couldn't find any videos on that so let's jump into this thing see what we can do all right here we are on the passenger side this beauty ring right here if you look right there there's a screw there's three screws that hold this beauty ring on now the way you get this handle off to see how the door panels cut here you can't get in there to nothing it's it's very simple if you look in this hole i don't know if the camera will pick it up or not there's a small set screw in there take that screw out and with a little persuasion the handle will come right out then you can access the three screws to the beauty ring which i have here you can see the three three screws that hold it on the handle itself that set screw goes right through there keeps this from pulling out of the hole pretty simple stuff so i'm gonna go ahead and get that handle off and then we'll look at uh cutting us a couple of pieces of sheet metal to fill the holes and weld it up and see where we go from there
And there's just a, a peak here. Way back when we first started this channel, we was working on the axle rod. His, uh, we were putting together a four-wheeler for him. And as you can see, he is enjoying the hound out of that thing. Wearing it out. It's just an absolutely beautiful day. And I'm uh, real proud of him. He done good work on that four-wheeler and it's nice to see it pay off and him enjoying it. And that's what all this stuff's all about in the end. So, back to work for us, doing what I like to do, tinkering with an old car. But, just thought everybody'd like to see an update on that little four-wheeler and it runs great. No problems. Runs really good. And he learned a lot, so I think even Bubba learned a thing or two, so there you go. Alright, back to the back to the task at hand, that door handle. So I'm gonna grab me a small screwdriver and we'll take that set screw out and I'll show you about that set screw. Here we go. Do 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 And you can see that hole. And this is a very small screwdriver. Oh, yeah, this one's in there pretty good. You don't want to round that thing out either. So I'm going to go find me a better screwdriver and see what we can do. Well, this one put up a little more of a fight. Had to drill. A small hole right here and then take my punch and just kind of tap on it and hammer it on through because it did not want to come out of there but you can see it's uh it's pretty toasty it's of course we don't know could have not ever been out and be you know 80 years old or however old you know but it's out now yeah that took me a minute get that thing to drive out of there it was a pain in the butt but that's how it goes sometimes so now we're on to uh this piece right here and you can see we've got screws right there so we'll take those out now and then uh that beauty ring will come off and then will be set we can start our uh, our door shaving we got one of our fillers i made this a minute ago and you want you know just like normal sheet metal work you want them gaps to be tight and i'm pretty proud of that because i don't think you can get any tighter than that so now i've just got to make a duplicate one almost the size of a quarter maybe a little bit bigger but i'll show you how I made that. So I basically just took my sheet metal. And you can see here where I've cut it. And I just cut it away. Traced. Took a vanilla folder. Traced the hole. Then took that right here. And traced it out. And once I got it cut out of the metal. I just flapper disc it to this. Until it flat flapper disc. I used a flapper disc to round it off a little bit at a time until it fit the hole pretty much exactly. But as you can see, that's what we got. So now I'm going to make a duplicate one and then we'll weld them in.
see how I just cut that out and just roughly cut it out? This one's a little bit easier because I've got an exact piece that fits <clears throat> that I can match up with. So now we'll just take this over to the flapper wheel. Find you a good comfortable spot because this, this normally takes a minute. Let me put this quarter over here. Well, let me put it over here. I got a cameraman now. All right. Just take my vice grips, basically clamp on it, and then take my my grinder with, with my flapper disc and just start quick that's taking shape flapper discs are great so you can see got my round edge here and I'm just going to do this all the way around until it fits that hole and then we'll weld it in um, pretty simple stuff so let me finish this one up and then we'll come back with the welder and, and we'll try to tack one in and, and grind it off see what it looks like
got this one welded in. Let me grind it off and we'll take a look at it. Alright, this one's welded in and ground off. That heat, you gotta kind of watch it. You know, it does funny things to metal. It draws it in just a little bit so there's a little bit of a dent, not much. A little, just smooth it right over with a Bondo. She's full of good metal. Looks good. And now there'll be no door handle. So, now, I'll do the other side and that'll just complete that. But, yeah, um, pretty simple to do. Um, if you're learning cheap metal work, it's a good way to, you know, start with small stuff like this. Um, I think it's going to add something to the old car. Because, I mean, there's really not a lot you can do with this kind of car. So, you know, you just kind of got to do what you got to do to make it cool. If you don't like it, you know, kindly stock. You know, there's not a whole lot. So we're going to do what we can to make it cool. Make it different anyway from what you would see. But that's going to wrap it up for this video. We'll call that right there done until we get some Bondo. And, um, yeah, I'm pretty pleased with that. Pretty quick, simple little project for Sunday afternoon. So, hey, if you guys, uh, if you guys like the content and stuff, hit that like button. That tells YouTube to push us out there and keep pushing our videos. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell for the notifications. And check out our Facebook page, too. We're on Facebook. I post uh, mostly all the videos every week that come out on there. I also uh, post a lot of cool cars that, you know, I just see around and stuff like that. And upcoming events on there, too. So make sure you check out our Facebook page. It's Long and Low Facebook. And we'll catch you guys next time on this old blue car or maybe the wagon or the Bronco or who knows what we'll be working on. But you guys have a good rest of the weekend and we'll see you next time.